I'm switching lane, can't get caught up in traffic. Go the magician, that means I do magic. They tell my niggas that her in this tragic. Been popping pills ever since I get added. They say you don't live what you rap, or you capping. I speak for others. What is up YouTube? It is Showtime and I am back with another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best VC glitch in NBA 2K21 current gen. Now, I actually have planned to drop a badge glitch right after this video. So if you guys want it, let me know in the comment section down below and I will drop it for you guys. Um, it is actually planned to come up next. So, you know, if you guys really do want it, show me in the comment section you guys want it. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys find nothing but great vibes, great energy, some great content. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Consider doing those three things for me and i'd really appreciate it anyone who's been constantly supporting my channel big thank you to you guys and honestly nonetheless we'll get straight into today's video on the best vc glitch in nba 2 get 21 current gen first step that you guys want to do to start this vc glitch is you guys want to make a player uh, you guys want to make a really really trash player just get through it really fast you guys can choose any pie chart you want you guys can choose uh, any physical profile just kind of just throw on some attributes do whatever you want make a garbage build uh, this is going to be like a dummy build this is going to be the build that actually helps you do the vc glitch uh, the build doesn't have to be good by any means so you can make him five foot seven lowest weight uh, you can do the lowest swing span make him garbage you won't be of any use so you just feel free to make any random player do it as fast as possible possible that way you guys are getting to the VC as fast as you can and we'll move on to the next step once you guys have done this now once you guys have made your bills you guys are going to want to move on to my career uh, it will give you like a little option saying would you like to skip the intro and go straight to the NBA you guys want to click yes and go straight to the NBA and now you guys will be signed to a team now what you guys want to do when you guys are signing to this team is you guys want to choose a team that will not be a playoff contender make choose a team that will not reach the playoffs uh, it can be any team like the Pistons the Cleveland Cavaliers is what I suggest you guys can choose any of those and then once you have that we can move on to the next step in VC glitch now once you guys have completed this step what you guys want to do is you guys actually want to sim to the end of the season and uh, once you guys do this we'll be able to negotiate a contract so the glitch just to do a quick breakdown of what the glitch really is is you guys have to basically do absolutely nothing while you're getting at least 750 vc every single game so the point of this simming the season is you guys want to get to the end of the season you guys will be able to renegotiate a contract sign to a different team and that way you can make a lot more vc so you guys can negotiate for example for 780 per game for example uh, you guys will see this in the next step but all you guys really have to do from here is just wait let it sim out let it play out its part and from there we'll be moving on to the next step in the VC glitch now once you guys have gotten to the end of the season you guys can just spam X get through the whole playoffs let everything run out you guys have officially gotten to the end of the season which will ultimately guys help you in your next step in doing the VC glitch or just press X press X you guys can get through all of this and now in the next step what you guys actually want to do is find a contract and negotiate a contract now what you guys can do is sign to any NBA team assign to any NBA team you wish Lakers uh, whoever you want you guys want to enter the free agency obviously before you choose the next team and uh, once you guys do that you guys will be able to negotiate a contract and negotiate a contract like I am on screen so just give it a second here as I am selecting a team uh, any team when I say any team you guys can choose any team this plays a huge factor on the VC glitch uh, so go ahead uh, just kind of negotiate with the guy or the agent on how much you guys want per game uh, what you guys actually want to do is lower down your minutes your teammate grade bonus and your years put those all down to the minimum then you guys want to come up to the VC area and try and negotiate for the most amount of VC possible now with the glitch I believe the most you can negotiate for is around 770 it depends for you guys I've tried as you guys can see here to do 785 and they weren't really allowing allowing that so i tried to lower it down or try and try and lower it down from that much and go like to 775 they also weren't allowing that too so i tried to go down a little bit more and i took the 750 offer now all this means is that you guys will be able to get 750 vc per game for doing absolutely nothing that's all that is and we'll move on to the next step in the vc glitch so after you guys have done all that, all you guys want to do is start your first game of the season. Uh, go to play game, play the first game in the season as I am here. I do end up playing the Golden State Warriors and I am on the Lakers. And you guys literally want to play as terrible as possible. Uh, you guys want to foul out. Every time you guys get the ball, you guys want to walk out of bounds or shoot a really bad shot. Uh, the ultimate goal of this step is to try and average a F. Uh, so try and get an F grade, not a C, not a D. Try and get the F grade. As you guys can see in the corner, you guys get a teammate grade. Try and achieve 
with a teammate grade of F. You guys want to play as bad as possible. Uh, as you guys can see, I just run out of bounds, and you guys want to foul out of the game. That way, you can get out of the game as quickly as possible, all while maintaining that F teammate grade. So as you guys can see here in the clip, I'm literally just fouling out, uh, walking out of bounds, taking dumb shots, trying to lower my grade as low as possible. Now, the reason why we're doing this step is that so you guys can average a certain amount of minutes played. Uh, the goal of this glitch is to have you play as least amount as minutes as possible while getting a certain amount, a large amount of VC actually. So uh, the goal that we're ultimately trying to do is get our minutes lowered. As you guys usually do start with around 10 minutes. We're trying to get our minutes down to five minutes. Five minutes is the lowest amount of minutes that you can do for this glitch. Um, if you guys are able to get under five minutes, do let me know in the comment section if there's a way just to enlighten others. But I believe uh, based on all the trial and error I've done, the lowest amount of minutes I was able to get was actually five minutes. So go ahead, play trash. You guys can just run out of bounds, foul out. You guys will have to pay attention to this part and just kind of get your way out of the game as fast as possible. And we'll move on to the next step once you guys have done this. So as you guys can see here, I am kind of in the final minutes of the game in the third quarter. All I'm going to do is foul out. I've gotten my sixth foul, so I'm officially out of the game. And as you guys can see, I was able to get my game, uh, get myself out of the game as fast as possible in the third quarter. Now the game will end. You guys will end up getting zero VC, zero rep, zero everything. That is fine. Uh, that is a part of the glitch step. Uh, we are just trying to get our minutes lowered as low as possible. So just press X to let all this go through. As you guys can see on screen, I've gotten zero of anything. And next, we'll move on to the next step in getting you guys as much VC as possible so just play the game let it play out and we'll move on so once you guys have played your first game and you guys played as terrible as possible and fouled out and all that good stuff you guys actually want to go to your player minutes and see how many minutes you have now after you play your first game uh, as bad as you possibly could you will still have 10 minutes meaning that you will have to play another game which is fine uh, you will have to at least play two games just like this so what we're going to do is we're going to get hop into another game and play as bad as we possibly can and try and get these minutes down to five minutes it will only take you guys two games maximum so as you guys can see here, we are now in our second game of the season. I am versing the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we're going to do literally what we did before. As you guys can see, I get, did get a good shot contest there. Don't do that. Um, we're kind of going to do what we did in the first game and literally just play as bad as possible. Run out of bounds, uh, foul out. The goal is to get out the game, and once again, you guys want to get that F teammate grade. Uh, that F teammate grade will really bring your minutes down. That way, you guys will only have to play the least amount of minutes possible while achieving uh, at least 700 and whatever, 775 VC, I believe it is. Uh, so just keep fouling out, keep playing bad, and we'll I'll kind of just skip right to the end of this game and show you guys the next step. So as you guys can see here, I have just officially fouled out the game once again. I did get a very, very bad teammate grade. Once again, guys, that is the main goal for you guys to get a terrible, terrible teammate grade. I did get a D. Try and aim for an F, um, but D or F works out fine. But try and go for the F uh, teammate grade. And as you guys can see, I have zero of everything again. Zero rep, zero VC, zero badge progression, all that, because I did foul out. Fouling out is what causes these things to be zero, which is fine. The goal is to get as least minutes as possible and move on to the next step in the glitch. So once you guys have completed that last step, what you guys actually want to do is come back to your minutes, reevaluate your minutes, and you guys will notice that your lower your minutes were lowered. That is because we were getting an F grade, getting the worst grade possible, which is good for the glitch. We are trying to use as least time as possible while trying to get the most amount of VC possible. So as you guys can see here, you guys will have the least amount of minutes, which is five minutes. Let me know if you were able to get less than five minutes. Uh, based on the glitch that I'm doing, uh, it's only five minutes was the least I was able to get. And once you guys have got five minutes, we'll move on to the next step in the VC glitch. And once you guys have made sure that your minutes are lowered to the least amount of minutes possible, you guys actually want to go to your settings and make the game difficulty hall of fame. What this does is actually increase the amount of VC you guys get per game. Uh, you guys actually get a hall of fame difficulty multiplier for your VC. This way you'll be able to make the most amount of VC possible. You guys get triple the amount of VC and then you guys will get into your third game of the season. Now, once you guys have gotten to this third game, you guys do not want to foul out but you guys can do kind of the exact same thing this is what makes the glitch so overpowered you guys can literally do your homework go sit down lie down uh, eat do whatever you want and let the whole game play out now you guys will not be going through the whole game as you guys remember 
we only have five minutes played so you guys will be playing sitting around for five minutes or less for 700 and however much vc you guys were able to get with the contract negotiation in this case i believe it was 750 so for five minutes uh you guys are just not sometimes it's not even a full five minutes sometimes it's less than five minutes sometimes it's two minutes uh, you guys can go completely afk if you guys want you guys can fool around take dumb shots you guys can do whatever you want whatever you guys do though do not foul out the game when you guys foul out the game as you guys can see i hit that goaded shot right there i don't even know how i did but uh once you guys foul out of the game that is what actually gets you guys zero vc and zero uh, rep and stuff so this is a free vc method you guys can do this method continually and once again i will skip to the end of this game of me completely going completely afk doing whatever you want to do your homework eat whatever you want to do and i'll move on to the end of the game to show you guys how much vc i was able to accumulate for doing absolutely nothing so as you guys can see here i've gotten to the end of the game I was completely doing nothing. I was on my computer editing more videos, editing some thumbnails, doing nothing. I'm getting free overall, which doesn't matter because this is just a dummy player. Uh, I will move on and I will actually be getting stats and stuff. Nothing will be zero because I did not foul out. And once we come down to the VC earned area, as you guys can see, I get a times 1.6 difficulty multiplier and I get 752 VC for doing absolutely nothing. So you guys can spam this glitch as much as you guys want over and over and over again. You can do this glitch while you're doing homework, watching a movie, watching YouTube videos, watching my YouTube videos eating whatever you guys want so you guys can go into hundreds of games doing this 750 and over and over again uh, this is pretty much as easy as it gets it's as simple as that let me I want you guys to let me know how this uh, how this worked for you did you like this VC glitch tell me if you guys want another one a new one uh, this is the one that I do know that I've actually been doing I've been able to accumulate around 30k in the last what 20 minutes just kind of doing this I've really just been goofing off editing videos for you guys while be able to like accumulate a whole lot of VC now that is all for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy today's video on this vc glitch once again let me know if you guys want the upcoming badge glitch that i actually have planned to drop up next uh, i am on currently on the grind to 20,000 subscribers on youtube so i'd really appreciate if all of you guys would leave a like comment on the video subscribe hit the notification bell so that every single time i post a video you guys are getting that notification that special notification and i'd also appreciate if you guys share the video uh maybe there's someone out there who wants to save some time save some money by doing this vc glitch so go ahead send them this exact video and once again i do appreciate you guys tuning into today's video and i will see you guys in the next one